I have Amy Postians. There is 29.1 million people in the United States who have been diagnosed with diabetes, but 8.1 million people in the U.S. are undiagnosed or unaware of their condition. But most diabetes patients believe that their cause for their condition was their high sugar intake. Everyone in this room has eaten a delicious sugary dish. The U.S. Health Department should implement stricter regulations on the additive sugars within our nation's food. First, I will begin to talk about the how sugar is toxic and the sugars to be aware of. And second, I will talk about a solution for these additive sugars. So let's talk about sugar. How bad is sugar? Well, Nigel Lata, a New Zealand psychologist, did a documentary in Is Sugar the New Fat, dated in 2018, said that sugar has gone to poison three key areas in our body, liver fat, cell aging, and our body's function to regulate how much you should be eating. Almost 65% of our, our adults are obese or overweight, and nearly 33% of children are as well. This is a big problem. So now you're probably wondering, well, how much sugar do we actually need? Well, you actually don't need any. Because studies have shown that it is actually, you don't need any because your liver has the capacity to metabolize a lot of things. And if you overwhelm this capacity, you can get in trouble. And that's when you can see people that are obese and or overweight. So now I will begin to talk about some sugars to be aware of. One sugar is high fructose corn syrup. That is a sugar that is mo mostly give us some fat, and which is really bad. Dr. Coomer, a nu nutritionist for 20 years, has had 20 years of experience, said that in artificial sweeteners, which is generally just passed through your body and it isn't as good as well. And it actually metab metabolizes into compounds food, just like as you eat every single day. Another sugar is natural sugar. Even though it has natural in the name, it's actually not natural. It's 200 times sweeter than an actual table sugar. It also has lower glycemic levels, which means it's gonna jack your blood, your blood, your blood cells, and it's gonna make your blood sugar rise up. <laughs> As you all know, there is a lot of sh excess sugar in the fizzy drinks, but did you know that they're also in fruit, ju fruit, fruit juices as well? Fruit has a lot of natural sugar, which is a good thing. But if you process it, then there's gonna be a lot of those concentrated sugars and it's not gonna taste as good as any, anymore. And it's just like there's no escaping this stuff. So this leads me to talk about some solutions for these additive sugars. One solution is the scientists who, who make these additive sugars. They make these sugars and it's actually not good for us. If if we all come together and we convince these scientists, they can speak out. But if they do speak out, they will be fired from their jobs. But if we help them decide and tell them that this is okay, then everybody can not be obese and not get overweight anymore. Another solution is to substitute some things. Yes, you can substitute a nice chocolate bar for a good apple. Yes, it won't taste as good, but in the end, you will be helping out your body. One more solution is telling your friends. You can tell your friends about that sugar is bad, that sugar can be toxic, but if you tell your friends, and then your friends will tell that their friends, and then your friends will tell their teachers, and then your teacher could tell that person who's sitting at lunch eating chocolate bars and not eating a healthy lunch. <laughs> so this leads that we need to substitute things just to be healthier. Yes, it can be hard, but we need to do this so we can tell our brains to just continue on and not eat any of these toxic sugars. And we need to substitute more things like not eat so much bread and potatoes from roots and substitute it for meat, chicken, vegetables, so we can eat, each get our healthy load of not so much toxic sugars. The U.S. Health Department should implement stricter, stricter regulations on these additive sugars within our nation's food. First, I talked about how sugar is toxic and the main sugars to be aware of. And finally, 
I talked about a solution for these additive sugars. If we keep continuing at this rate that we are eating at, at, with these sugars, you could be sitting in a hospital bed with those dramatic med medical bills that you don't want to be paying. So just tell yourself, you can eat sugar, you can't eat a lot of sugar. So make sure you tell everyone that a little sugar is good, but a lot is not. Bye, Lonnie.